Okay, so just when we talk about angle of attack, and aeronautics. So angle of attack is um, basically, if that is the direction of flight, the wing has got what they call a mean chord line, which is a line going through the centre of the wing. That angle is the angle of attack. Wings are designed to run at a set angle of attack. What happens as I increase the angle? I'll draw a wing like this first. When it's parallel to the direction of flight, the airflow goes round. That is the final direction. There is an amount of lift, there is an amount of forward momentum, for want of a better word, pulling the wing forward. As I increase the angle of attack, I get more lift until the arm air stops attaching to the wing and starts to separate. Here that would definitely separate. I'm going to play a couple of videos off a wind tunnel in a second just to show you what happens as the angle of attack increases. When that is turbulent, there is very poor lift. So that is undesirable. Too much angle of attack increases drag and gets to a point where um, you lose lift. Not what you want. Um, if I look at a graph, you can have a positive angle of attack. You can, of course, have a negative angle of attack. And that works, because planes fly upside down. A plane can fly upside down, so it generates some lift through changing the angle of attack when it's upside down. A plane flying upside down There is the wing there. It still has a slight angle of attack. Okay, that will generate lift. If I've got a flat plate, perfectly flat plate, zero camber. If it's travelling parallel to the airflow, lift is zero. However, if I've got a wing profile or an aerofoil, that still generates some lift at zero degrees. So that's the angle of attack, that's the lift. It's called the coefficient of lift. Once again, the maths you don't need to know, you just need to know the principles. That gets to there until it hits the separation point, then that goes something like that, and you've got uncontrollable lift. A normal plane, or a normal wing does that, and then it hits it. So wings are more efficient than flat plates. Go figure. Common sense wings once again. That's the effect of angle of attack. As you increase it, you deflect the air down a bit more, you increase the lift. You also increase the drag. That flat plate, if I was to look at the drag, there's the angle of attack. Oh, and now this is drag. There's very little drag and there's very little disturbance to flow. Yeah? And then it goes up both ways. A wing, they want to have something a little bit better. So a wing tends to be something more like that with a wider belly in the bottom. Yeah? So, the effective angle of attack is to increase lift but it also increases drag. Planes, when they take off, intentionally increase the angle of attack by dropping a flap. The wing flaps, push the air down, and effectively increase the angle of attack.